Hello guys, what's up? This is Game Nation RDF with a pretty cool video. Um, in this video, we're going to discuss making gradients with some cool effects on it using Paint.net. If you didn't know, Paint.net is a very, very basic and it's, I think one of the best image editors out there. And there's GIMP, of course. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, and and it's pretty powerful if you ask me. So let's get started with adjusting the size of size of the um canvas so click resize and i'm gonna do 1366 by i don't know it was 768 all right this is the resolution of my screen and enter size here I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and now we select the gradient shortcut now actually before doing that you should select your colors um, first of all you can select this um, bluish color it's a little bit um, of lush blue if you will and my second color will be this sort of um, green okay then we select creating tool and then you can select of course how you how you can how you wanna do it for example like this but I'm just I'm just going to go with this one right now start from here drag it oh my message okay um, and then you can move these pinpoints around to make different effects which is pretty cool if you ask me but I'm not going to do any of these those stuff I'm just going to do it like this and then what I want to do is add up some like like little bubbles the bubbles around oops 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 I don't want okay so I'm just going to select my circle tool I want to make like uh, white okay I will make white um white ones with do I want to fill them in okay actually I'm just going to do it like this let me first see where I want these big bubbles and a fairly big one here and then I'm just going to add up small ones around that was like elliptic a little bit okay and then one around here and I think I'm happy with this so I'm just going to fill them in with colors so what you can do is that you can I'm just going to select like a bluish color as my primary color and I'm just going to fill them in just like this and you can have like an inverting color there just like this one oops I don't want that okay so now I want to zoom in and I think I want to paint these pixels I wonder. No, I don't want actually. This is cool. Okay, so now I'm just going. This is like it's okay looking, but it it is missing something, and I think it's blur. So select blur, the Gaussian blur, and it's set the radius. Wow. Oh. And like, if you set it to like 200, it'll look really interesting um like like this uh, I, this is too much for me I'm just going to set it to 50 or something or wait okay I think 
but I want to see these this little um, inverting part there so I'm just going to drop it to 20 and yes I think I'm happy with this one click OK and if you want to you can add little more effects on this one like this is a pretty cool effect as you can see and the more you make it looks very um, interesting but if you set it to something like like 9 or 10 it will make it very distorted but in this, at the same time it will look pretty cool if you ask me Let's, I don't know what the color this slider did and if you increase it it will look pretty distorted Okay, you can you can randomize. It's pretty cool. And let's see. Um, I want to have like five or something, probably or four, so that you can see that effect barely if you're looking for it. I'm just going to hit OK. Oh God, stop, please, stop. And the effects on the um, paint.net is not that amazing actually, but they are pretty powerful. So, I don't wanna add noise. I haven't checked out all of these actually, but um, I'm pretty interested in clouds. I wanna see what that does. Okay. No, it's too rough maybe. This is rather interesting. Oh, I see. This is pretty cool. I think I will make another video and I experience more of this stuff. Okay. So I hit cancel. And I think I'm happy with this. Um, I'm just going to save it to my desktop as cool. Wallpaper. Hit OK. I'm just going to take a last look at it, and I think it looks pretty cool. This is one-to-one -one scale, and hit OK, and bam! There we have it, guys. Um, so we made a pretty cool. Let's close out of these so we can see it a little bit better. We have made a pretty cool wallpaper and you can play with this and have very different gradients. Um, yeah, this was a quick tutorial on how to make cool gradient um, wallpapers for your computer. And I'll see you next time guys. Bye.